There is a new way people are breaking up that's pretty cowardly. It's called ghosting. And it's basically when you vanish off the face of the earth without giving an explanation. No more texting or tweeting or email, none of it. And it gained popularity when Charlize Theron allegedly did that to Sean Penn before they officially... I didn't know that either. By the way, nobody knows that. Like, well, nobody she knows. goes, yeah. yeah. She goes, she, goes, she, goes, she, she basically right. pretended he didn't exist. She, well, if that's even true. But right. are any of you guilty of it, or have you been the recipient? Ghoster. Oh, you are. Uh, I'm ghoster. a ghoster. Not I'm only... But you, you seem proud. Not, well, I kind of am. <laughs> okay, uh, so... No, wow. no. I, I, you know, a couple of times I've gone out with someone, and I just, I don't know, it's so awkward to have that talk, oh, and I just stop talking. But I do that with friends, too, or people yeah. that want to be Is that friends? what you well, text me? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Liliana. No, but uh, but it's true. You know, if, if someone you know wants to hang out, I just pretend I changed my number. So I guess that's ghosting. And right? they eventually stop. They just stop. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, after the I, see, I feel text. like in relationships, I when I was dating before I met my husband, I would never ghost my husband. Um, I felt like I'm so non-confrontational. I'm the that same it's way. So uncomfortable. Yeah. What do you say to someone you don't like? I just don't like you. I don't want to see you again. I just that's not. I can't do it. It but, takes a lot of effort and energy to ask someone okay. out. So I'd rather just not write you back. But I've been ghosted. Is that what it's oh, called? Yeah, I yeah. am the one who's been ghosted. It's kind of, it's mean. I'm, it makes me have questions. What happened? What, what did, did I do wrong? What, what, what happened? happened? It was before cell phones. It was email. And I kept emailing this guy, emailing this guy. And finally he goes, you're being transparent. We're broken up. And I go, oh, man. Wow. And I, ever, I mean, I can still cry. But it's, that's terrible. I'm confused as what ghosting is. Because I do this. I thought it was stalking. That's what I do to people. No, no, I know. It's the opposite. I'm like a ghost following them no, everywhere. No, no, that's the not the same thing. Opposite. No, no. It's when ghosting. somebody's following like you. you Disappear. Wanna... That's what that means. Like a ghost. You, like you vanish. Have you Every disappeared? Every man that's ever been with me has disappeared. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> and they've been ghosting me this whole time? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. But no. you know what? If you've been going out with someone for a certain amount of time, don't you owe them the courtesy yeah. I mean, and the if decency? It's a couple of, of months, yes. of course. I mean, I mean that's just casually rude. dating. It's just easier to just not write back. But here's the thing: this is the whole, the whole thing with cell phones, email, anything. It's no more face-to-face -face contact. Right, so yeah. there's no phone calls. Everyone texts everyone. Yeah, there's no sure intimacy. You don't get into the friend zone either, because if you don't even want to be friends with them, you ghost them. You ghost them. Yeah. yeah. And then if you do get intimate and then you marry them, then you want to kill them. So there's that <laughs> as well, right? Yeah, everyone at one point or another wants to kill their spouse yes. but there's a new article in the guardian that has some spot-on reasons why couple fight here's one that i love it's called false memory syndrome when arguments aren't about the facts but how each person remembers those facts yeah. that's the only yeah. way to fight it's my <laughs> version and your Versus version your version yes. sure, just make up what I, I completely suffer from this i really do and but so I'll, when you and michael fight you we, it's always about it's just a miscommunication and something that I, I just have the worst memory and we'll fight for an hour over it and then he'll finally let me realize that i was wrong he's always right in the end he always and i'll own it i'll own it but for an hour there, I'm like, no, you there's no way. You should fight with him for an hour. Listen, I'm single. I have no one. You <laughs> love on each other, okay? I fight with my cats, and they I always win. Yeah, yeah, Monique. If you've been with someone almost eight years, sometimes you know you're just they as stubborn. You they drive you insane. I want to know what it feels like to be driven insane. I want a man. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find this girl a man? Yes. Yes. Are, are are they fight? You, the big thing with fighting, and I don't know if anyone's guilty here, is. Saying you're sorry, I do oh, not. So hard, so hard to, to say, say you're sorry. sorry. That's like you're approaching it from the wrong point of view. If you just say you're sorry, sometimes people just need to hear an I'm sorry and they move on. So just throw them out like yeah, hard. Like I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But if you're not really sorry, it festers. I know, but for the moment, it gets me out of it. I can go back to my housewives. Yeah. You'll stop bothering me, and I'm I'm it's done with the hard, argument. It's hard though. If it's not genuine, it's hard for yeah. me to so say. My I'm husband sorry. makes me it repeat. Really... He goes, "You're not really sorry. You got to say it again." And he's that makes the, me even he's more one angry. He's one of those. It's one of like he wants to dig it yeah. in. I'm like, yeah. I don't like that. So what, fi what we fight about a lot is things like the housekeeping, because he's a slob and I, I'm I'm not, <laughs> and and then I'll get on him and say, uh, not like that. I'll get on his case <laughs> oh, and I'll say. Get down Everything. there. And I'll say, come on, will you just clean the dishes? And then you start feeling and like then, you're a nag. No, but no, I don't. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, see, but I then, oh, okay. but then I do the dishes before him. Uh -huh. So I, it's, you know, and then he'll say, why didn't you even give me the chance? And he's absolutely right. Yeah. And since it's a circular argument that we have over and over, because I, I yell at him, 
and then I, I don't give him the chance to do it, and I'll do it. But how long are you waiting? Is he going to make you suffer? I mean, how long do you have to wait for him to clean up? Sometimes it's just better to well, do it. Well, I want it immediately. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. That's just being a woman. Like, yeah. sorry, Lance. I, no, 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 I don't well, know if you're messy or not. I'm the woman in this case, okay. too, because yeah. my husband leaves stuff all around. And I'll wait a day with that sandwich still on the counter. I'm like, he's going to pick this up. And then exactly. finally, I'll clean it up. Exactly. Yeah.